Welcome to another update of my attempt to play Fallout 3 as a more or less pacifist. I'm in here in Big Town. I got a little bit sidetracked. I uh, remember from the end, end of the previous video, I, there was this guy Sticky who was trying to get to Big Town, and I got him here. And then when I got here. Apparently, there were two people who had been abducted from Big Town and taken up. They're to Germantown Police Headquarters keep an eye on the by uh, <laughs> mutants. Sir, this is President John Henry Eden, and I'd like to... Thanks, I'd like to not hit, listen to that radio so much. Uh, so first I sneaked in, didn't... Uh, I don't know, evaded everyone, and then slept in weeks. I found this girl. Who apparently hasn't slept in a week's while. Well, uh, I just I locked picked the door to her... He was locked in, in some sort of cage, so I locked back the door and got her out. Uh, well, basically, I just... L she was quite resourceful. She managed to get out of there on the, on her own as long as I locked back the door. And then I got further, sneaked Remember further in. Remember to keep in. an eye on the north. And I... This guy, Shorty, he was... Um, I had to kill one super mutant, I'm afraid. It was busy making mincemeat out of Shorty, killing him in order to cook him. I think they were in a kitchen and it sounded like he wanted food. And I couldn't stand for that, so I only placed several shots into him already, so I... I killed that super mutant uh, to save this Remember guy's life. Remember to keep an eye on the north. There's no way we can survive uh, but I evaded, like, four super mutants upstairs, and then, uh, having freed Shorty, I... Uh, I tried for a while to have him sneak out with me, but he wasn't very good sneaking, so... I, I Then I just decided to leave him alone, and he said he'd... Uh, to, I asked him to wait, and then he said, No, if you're not back soon, I'm gonna get out of here, which is exactly what I wanted, because then I made a run for it, and I got back, and I just ran here to Big Town, and lo and behold, that they are both here now. Those assholes in Lamplight said that this place was great. Thought I'd switch this thing off. And I keep opening the desk instead, sorry. Thank you. Uh The Wastelander from Germantown. How's life treating you? Whew. I'm glad to be safely back home. Yeah, I'm glad you're safe and sound because I'm such a friendly guy. I don't really really want any kind of reward. Thank you. You're a real hero, you know that? I was going to offer you a reward, but I can put the caps to use buying medicine and supplies. That well, was my pleasure. Thanks. I know you've already risked your life once already, but I heard the mutants talking about another attack. They'll probably be here soon. Oh. So, what would a pacifist do in this case? Not sticking around to kill all the super mutants. Telling them they're on their own seems a bit harsh. Perhaps I can help you defend yourselves? Really? That's great. What do you have in mind? And the absolutely awesome thing here is that it gives you lots of role-playing options. Uh, robot defenders, if you're a scientist, you can teach them how to shoot better. Decide to stick around and kill the super mutants. Or, which is definitely the pacifist's way of approaching things, I'll teach you to s how to sneak and hide, and they'll think that you've deserted the town. And that option definitely uh, uh, suggests that they had uh, stealthy, not very violent characters in, in mind when they made the game, by the way. Great! I'll round everyone up. You show us how to hide and sneak. Now, this is like the fifth time I've tried this. Uh, it worked last time, but not the five times or four times before that, so we'll use... You crouch down, and you go quietly, and you try and stick to the well, shadows. You waiting to learn something? Well, you get on with it already. See, you sneak like this, trying to stick to the shadows, and then you find a Our good hiding returns. place. Okay. That's how you do it. I hope you learned something. I really hope you learned something. Okay, Red. Oh, yeah. Back. What do you need? Well, I gotta go. Be careful. 
And so hopefully this will work this time and they will have learnt to sneak and when the mutants show up. Um, the mutants are going to probably approach from the north because this bridge is sort of the only way into the town. They've got a smart town. It's built a little bit like a fortress with a moat and a bridge and actually good hiding places are probably around the back. Um, in here. Now, there's one thing I didn't tell you guys that's quite important. Sneaking, it's a lot more effective if you put out the frigging fire and if it's dark. So, tell you what. Let's hope that we can just Sneak around. Oh gosh. Everyone's taking up positions. Does that mean they're about to show up, those mutants? I think so. Everyone looks like they're trying to hide. And that's the mutants right there. I'm going to try and get behind here and hope they don't see anyone. Really, I was planning on waiting until nightfall, hoping show up at night. That's what I did last time and that worked out alright. Not so sure about this time though. Oh, you can see them through the sort of fence there. It's not dark enough now. Oh god, I hope that's just this woman here has detected me. You can see those red dots. Bottom right. Bottom left, sorry. That's hostiles. That's the super mutants that Nosing around. But they seem to be going back and forth a little bit confusedly. In fact, they look like they might be heading out again. S yeah, that's them. See through. I didn't know if you could even catch that, but between the edge of the house and that sort of fence thing there, that's a leaving super mutant. And now I'm going to try and sneak around the other edge of this house to see if I can sort of make sure that they've actually left and not left, you know, any other Super mutants behind or anything. I'm wearing reconnaissance armor, by the way, which helps with sneaking. I'm not really even sure. I think we they did. left. Take that, muties! Awesome. I didn't think that'd work. <laughs> you mean we're still alive? <laughs> Awesome! Yeah, Yay. die, mutants! Die! Awesome. How are you doing, Pappy? I haven't slept in weeks. Terrible. Same as the last time you asked. I, I haven't slept in weeks. <laughs> Poor people. This place gets worse all the time. Ah, oh, don't say that. You just survived a mutant incursion, and then they now probably think the whole town is deserted. You should be. If they go back and report the to whoever, the, which whoever is the sort of. Super mutant boss king chief man and says, Ah, oh, the whole town is deserted. I think they can't be there anymore. Then maybe you're off the hook. Wouldn't that be awesome? What the hell? Oh, it's you. I got to admit, I didn't think you were one of the good ones, but what the hell? Thanks. <laughs> Things might not be so bad after all. All right, so I'm, I definitely like this quest. Uh, definitely, they took the trouble here to, to make an option for stealthy, not very violent characters. Uh, what's not quite so fun is that there's an area up here uh, that I didn't do quite so well with. Tell you what, I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna reload a, a save that I have right just up here. Right, here we are. I'm at... Um, Maris no. Hallowed Mall Cemetery. I've on north from Big Town. This is an area that I uh, 
sort of discovered area, area. Actually, that's where I came from. The area I'm talking about is over here. You can see all those red dots, bottom left. Shows you there are things, enemies around. More specifically, they are super mutant brutes. Super mutant brutes. You know, monsters, mutated monsters, and more super mutant brutes. And now th it's night time now, and I can sneak a little bit better than I. Even better, actually, than I could with the, those dumb super mutants went for Big Town. Uh, whoops. But that guy is way too close for comfort. Thing is, that, you see that church over there? Um, they, the super mutants have a captive in there, I think. Uh, not, not quest related. I'm not like Red and and uh, Shorty. A part of that specific quest to save them. I just want to see if I can get it close enough. Yeah, see, there's a green dot in there. I'm pretty sure that's a captive. And this is a captive that I don't think I can rescue, actually. Um, because I was able in that quest to sneak sneak in and sneak past the super mutants but they there's way too many of them in here and also I don't think I'll be able to free her unless the super mutants are gone I mean she's yeah look there there are two super mutants in uh, that church over there plus the one down there who's Here's about to to Here's find me, tricks on me again. fortunately you know staying hidden for a while, you know, just not moving. He thought he was hearing things, and I can get, so I can get past him. But the two people in the church are the two super mutants in the church. So let's see if we can. Yeah, that's the captive right there, behind the super mutant who's actually looking right at me. Uh, there she is, and just moving. Now it's oh, there's one coming in there. I'm so screwed. Yep. No more game. Time to die. Yeah, and he's got a sledgehammer. I can always evade him, but the others have got like all kinds of nasty weapons. Uh, I think what you had there was mostly. Combat, uh, armor, but yeah. And that's the cap captive. Look, he has got. I'm not sure what he's got. This guy has definitely got a Gatling gun. Super Mutant Master. That's obviously bad. Yeah, I'm almost dead already. And I wonder if I can. Run over to this girl and oh, you know, can't help captive while in combat. So yeah, pretty much I can. All I can do at this point is run. So I think that crash was. Bit of a hint, if you're a pacifist character, don't try to fight a whole army of super mutants. Super mutant masters, in fact, with kentors and watchdogs and vicious dogs and assault rifles and gatling guns and gatling lasers and all kinds of stuff that they've got. Um, just don't. So I think basically... Um, I mean, if I were lower level, I could switch my playstyle and kill them, I suppose, but it's just too hard at this level. They've, they've become too tough when I've been leveling up, up all things like lockpick and sneak and whatnot, and not really. Well, I do have some skill in small guns. Uh, some quite considerable skill in small guns, actually, but, um, yeah, 64. But, I mean, at level 11, that's not very much, and it's also the sort of the weakest weapon skill, isn't it? It does govern things like assault rifle and hunting rifle, and also my scoped 44 Magnum, 
which I suppose is sort of my best sniping weapon. Uh, but, you know, first off, I'm a pacifist, I don't really want to play like that, even if they are super mutant monsters. Wiping out an entire army to save one captive seems a bit much, perhaps, and also it's very hard to do with this kind of character. Uh, I suppose one thing I could do. Um, I could try and snipe them off one by one, I suppose, I suppose, but... Also, I could maybe try and get some help, get Forks or someone to try and help me. Yeah, I want to travel to a, 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 a yeah, whatever. I think that's where I left Fox. Because he was obviously going to mess up my act trying to sneak into Germantown. I had hoped you'd return. Let's get going. With all due haste. And I suppose we could both head to Hallowed North Cemetery. And I could go and guns blazing together with Fox, I suppose. Um, I suppose I would actually sneak in and then Fox will Let's see what... Blast. Yeah, look at that. Right. <laughs> He's right. not... He is definitely not in any pacifist uh, mode, is he? That city group was slaughtered, and so is this Kento going to be. That was too easy. Uh, so that's one super mutant and one Kento. Now try and hide. And now he's shooting at somebody else. Don't even know who that is. Well, I'm hidden, they can't see me, but Fox is fighting everything in the vicinity. That's two super mutants, if it was not three. Are you alright, Fox? Oh! Ow! They're throwing things at us. Yep, that's why I'm running like hell, because there are grenades all over the place. And there's also a fox blowing things to bits with his Gatling laser. Anybody else? Well, that's one more super mutant master down. That's what, three or four super mutants so far? Certainly one or two cantors. And this is the broken down church. Yeah, I think we've taken that down, I think. But that's like an army of super mutants that Fox took out. So I suppose that pacifists could do something like this. Um, you know, just bring Fox to do all his fighting for him. I'm actually quite surprised by how effective he was against his super mutant brethren. Where is he, anyway? There he is. Come here, come here. Oh, there's another one up here. Oh, look at... Oh, there's more than I can count. I thought this for that's at least five super mutants he's killed. And now he's stuck in the graveyard. <laughs> that's strangely fitting. Now let's see if we can maybe finally... Help me! Right, super mutants have burned the captain's transportation. Reps are digging into her wrist. She obviously suffered from their abuse. Obviously, we're going to untie her. My... thank you. Thank you so much. Here, I managed to hide these supplies before they tied me up. You take them. I think you'll need it more than I will. You'd know best, wouldn't you? I have to go. Again, thank you. So, yeah, I mean, that's... We s saved a life. I'm very happy about that. Um, not quite so sure about wiping out a whole, like, small army of super mutants. Well, actually, I didn't, though. It was a fox, uh, wiping out his, his brethren. I think, fox, that we are going to go back to over there, which was a safer place than this, I think. Uh, it's a friendly place, and 
there's these like guards over there, but they don't pose any trouble. Troubling you, mate. Why don't you just wait here? If you insist. And I can go back to sneaking around in a more pacifistic way, shall I? <laughs> Ah, uh, so I guess this wasn't an insanely pacifistic episode. I did a lot of really nice pacifist questing before, well, early in the video and before this this sort of ending here. Um, tell you what, <sighs> what do you think? Is this you know? So I, I got Fox in to help me out, and he wiped out the entire uh, den of, of of super mutants. What do you think? Is that the right thing to do for a pacifist? Or should I simply reload and just leave the captive uh, and, and also let those, what, five or six mutated creatures, uh, s uh, at least six actually, because he killed a super mutant at the end there as well, at least six super mutants would have been alive now if I hadn't brought in Fox. What do you think? I'm definitely, I mean, whatever you answer, I'm not planning on playing the game, um, uh, just having Fox wipe out armies all the time. I'm definitely planning on snooping around because that's what my character is good at. It's how I wanted to, to play this character anyway. Um, but I'm just considering maybe just reloading and, and leaving that captive. I don't know. And I might, might call on Fox if, if the need is desperate enough. But again, I'd, I'd like you to provide some uh, some feedback here. That's one of the advantages of being able to uh, make videos that I can get uh, sort of your input on how you think a pacifist would act. I mean, I <laughs> I'll confess I'll, I'll make my own decisions in the end. But it's always nice to, to hear what others have to say about it. So um, and then maybe I'll in the next crossroads I'll maybe post uh, another video. See what's what's kicking and Fallout 3 is a pacifist or semi-pacifist. So until then, go in peace and live and let live.